Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the histology of the trachea. Trachea has four layers from inside outside. So the inner layer is the mucous layer. Then underneath the inner layer, we will get the submucosal layer. Then we will get the C shaped hyaline cartilage ring. These are not complete ring they have gap at the posterior they look like c and the gap in the posterior is covered by a smooth muscle called the trachealis muscle and outside uh, the c-shaped cartilage we have the adventitia. shear there is the connective tissue so again this is the mucosa underneath we'll get the submucosa then we'll get the c-shaped cartilage from here up to this, then the gap between the posterior part of the C shaped cartilage is covered by the smooth muscle called the trachealis muscle. Okay, and outside the, the C shaped cartilage, we have the adventitia. shear. So, what are the identifying points of trachea? Trachea is supported by hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage look, looks like a glass, it's bluish in color. It has isogenous group of chondrocytes in it. Hyaline cartilage and dense irregular connective tissue covers the hyaline cartilage, the perichondrium. Glands will get mucous gland, seromucous gland. Epithelium is the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium, also called respiratory epithelium, cell type, basal cell, goblet cell, ciliated cell, brush cell, serous cell, and DNES cell. These all, all cells are present in this pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. It is called pseudostratified because it has only one layer, but the size of the cells are different. Location of nucleus of the cell is at the different level. So the nuclei are at different level. So it looks like multi-layered, but in fact, it is one layer cell with different shape and size of the cell. And the location of the nucleus is not at the same level. That's why it looks like stratified, but it is a one layer cell all the cells touches the basement membrane and the basement membrane is thick okay so underneath the epithelium we have the lamina propria then we have the submucosa then the perichondrium then the c-shaped cartilage then again perichondrium then we'll get the adventitia so we have these six types of cells present in the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Additional feature, C rings. C rings are composed of hyaline cartilage and trachealis muscle. Trachealis muscle is a smooth muscle. Each muscle cell looks like a spindle with a nucleus inside it. So this muscle, trachealis muscle, this is a smooth muscle. It is innervated by the recurrent laryngeal nerve. It is a smooth muscle and it connects the two ends of the C shaped hyaline cartilage rings. So, if you go there, this is the pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium. So, when we look under microscope, we look at the nucleus and to us, the nucleus seems to be at different level here. This seems to be multi-layered epithelium. No, it is not. It is one layer epithelium. We have different type of cells present here. We have some basal cells. We have the columnar cells. We have some goblet cell. Okay, we have also some DNES cell, serous cell, some mucous cell are present also here. So this is the pseudostatified ciliated columnar epithelium is also called respiratory epithelium 
these are the cilia. Cilia are the projection from the cell surface. We have also a lot of microvilli. We have some brush cells also present there. So underneath this pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium, this is the lamina propria. This is the lamina propria. This is a loose areolar connective tissue. It is very vascular. It contains blood vessels, also the lymphocytes, and even it may contain some mucous serous gland. But mucous and serous glands are mostly found in the submucosa. Okay, this is a goblet cell. So, what is our goblet cell? Goblet cells are present here, goblet cell, and this is an example. This is an, a, the feature of a goblet cell. It has a stem at the lower part that contains the nucleus. Then we have the organelles here, this rough endoplasmic reticulum. Then we have the secretory vesicle containing, containing mucin. Initially, it is mucinogen, then it is converted into mucin that will come out of the cell. These are the cell, these are unicellular gland. Their secretion is mucus. Okay, so this is the goblet cell, one goblet cell here, another goblet cell. This is the stem, S T E M. This is the thickal part of the cell. The nucleus is at the base. The organelles are just above the nucleus and around the nucleus. We have a lot of mitochondria here. We have the rough endoplasmic reticulum with Golgi apparatus and they produce the secretory vesicle that is come out of the cell and that is on the luminal surface of the cell. It makes, it helps to engulf the debris or the some foreign particle on the surface of the lumen of the trachea. So in the submucosa, we'll get these glands here. This is the mucous S sinus. S, S sinus cells are almost columnar. Nucleus is at the base here. This is the mucous S sinus. This is usually larger than that of the serous S sinus. This is in the histological slide. This is lighter color. This is little bit darker color. Okay. This is a mixed cell. We have some serous cell, mucous cell. And serous cell cells are pyramidal in shape. Nucleus is almost in the center. This is the lumen of the S sinus. This is the lumen of the S sinus. From the lumen will go to the small ductule, then the the duct of the gland. This is here one of the mucous S sinus with a with some cell ovary. These are the serous cell. This is called the seromucous demi loon. Look like a like a moon, half moon or one or one third moon like this. It is called the seromucous demi loon. So this all type of S sinus, the, the, the unit of the glands, these are found in the submucosa. Okay, so we'll have a quick wrap up. What are the layers of the trachea? From inside, outside, we we'll go to the, the mucosa. What are the components of mucosa? The lining epithelium. What is that lining epithelium? Pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Okay. If you go there from the very beginning, here is the lining epithelium, pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Underneath, we'll get the submucosa underneath. Then we'll get the cartilage here. Cartilage is covered by the pericondium outside, also outside and inside pericondium there is also a connective tissue then we'll get the adventitia okay we got that now here we got the support by hyaline cartilage gland mucous gland serum mucous gland we may also get 
the seromucus demi lune some of the serous cell is over the mucus as sinus okay we got the basal cell goblet cell ciliate cell blood cell serous cell d and e s cell basal cells are the precursor cell from the basal cell we'll get the columnar cell we'll get the goblet cell and other cells so we have the ciliated cell around 30 percent goblet cell around 30 percent basal cell about about 30 percent of all the cells other cell comprises the 10 percent of the cell d and e s cell also called diffuse neuroendocrine system cell also called apud cell or amine precursor uptake d carboxylase cells also sometimes called argentine field cells they have some paracrine and endocrine secretion and that is secreted into the lamina propria area okay this is the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium these are the nucleus here these are the basal cells not all cell will go to the lumen basal cell cannot go to the lumen the columnar cell and the goblet cell go to the lumen and the luminal surface we have the cilia and also the microvilli This is the goblet cell. This is a unicellular mucus secreting cell, and the nucleus is the base. These are the organelle. We have some organelle here also. Lot of mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, and the rough endoplasmic reticulum that produces the protein. Protein is processed in the Golgi apparatus. Okay, these are the unit of the gland this is the as sinus this is the lumen this is the glandular epithelium here this is the demi moon look like a three or fourth day moon over the over the mucus as sinus this is the serous cell and this is the viva question we must know this question for our viva bossy exam the lining epithelium Pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Why called pseudostratified ciliated columnar? Because all cell touches the basement membrane, but all cell cannot go to the surface. So nucleus are located in different level. So it is called pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. What type of glands are found in the trachea? Mucus gland, serous gland, seromucus gland. Where they are located in the submucosa. What is trachealis? The muscle which connects the C-shaped cartilage posteriorly. The purpose, it controls the lumen of the trachea, helping deglutition and also coughing mechanism. Okay. So, goblet cell, it is a mucus secreting cell. So, it engulfs all the debris or the dust and the cilia beat it towards the nasopharynx so that we can cough out the debris. So we got D and E S cell. This is diffuse neuroendocrine cell. What is their secretion? They secret some hormone, some amines, okay, like epinephrine or norepinephrine, like substances are secreted from here. So that is associated with some type of allergic reaction sometimes to some individual due to over sensitivity. And that's all about the histology of the trachea. If you like my video, please support my channel. Please subscribe me. And have a nice day. Bye now.